What's up, YouTube? This is J-Rod Ham78 coming out to you with my latest haul video, which consists of 98% of the Fan Expo Dallas 2017 convention that just happened last weekend. Um, before we start off with that haul video, I uh, want to give a shout out to Eddie the Comic Guy uh, from the East Coast, part of the, I believe, part of the New York Warriors. Um, I had him work on this piece for me, a little background piece for me, um, a Batman piece. Um, to care for man, things that things thing is beautiful. Uh, got the Neil Adams Batman right there. Got the McFarlane Batman. Got the Jim Lee Batman. Like I said, man, huge shout out to him. Um, got in contact with him through uh, Archangel. Archangel. Angel. Uh, and shout it out to Eddie the Comic Guy through Google Hangouts. And uh, we just got the ball rolling this piece right here. Uh, he got it to me. I love it. I mean, um, it's the bomb. I mean, Batman. I mean, you got Neil Adams, McFarlane, and Jim Lee on one piece of artwork right here uh, so yeah it's my background now man so hope you guys like it i, I mean i really enjoy it I, i've seen other uh, people in the community have backgrounds from eddie so uh so that's that's one of the reasons why i wanted to get in contact with him to give me a background i mean i think it was time to step my game up on my channel start doing different things adding on to my channel but uh like i said shout out to eddie the comic book guy uh subscribe to him uh got great content great videos like i said from the east coast doing his thing out there but uh, let's go on to the haul video, guys. Um, uh, like I said, the convention was last weekend. Uh, I went Friday and Sunday. I mean, I, I was not going to go Saturday. There was too many damn people there. I, I, from what I heard, I knew it was going to be the, the case. Um, I had too many things going on Saturday. and um, But Friday, I did a, a, like a brunt of my hunting on Friday and got a lot of my autographs taken care of that first day of the convention. But before I went to the convention, um, I went to this one comic book shop called Generation X Comics. I just went there just to kill a little bit of time and I found, went through the back issue bins and found this Justice League number six, one in 25 Ivan Rice variant, the dark seed cover, dark side cover, got it for four bucks. Uh, it's a good deal. I've been hunting for a bunch of Wonder Woman books. I, I got high expectations for the movie coming out. Hopefully that they're a met, <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I found Wonder Woman number 90, the first appearance of uh, Artemis, I believe. I found two copies of that. All near, both near mint condition got it for five bucks each. So uh, those three books right there, hopefully were a good things to come for me on this convention as far as hunting. Uh, four bucks for that Justice League one in twenty five variant. That's cover price. And I got these two Wonder Woman. I've been seeing these Wonder Woman, this particular issue popping up with quite a few videos lately. So I'm glad I found them. I'm glad they were still there. Cause I remember I saw them there before. So I went back there. This was about a month ago. And I just didn't pick them up, but um, I'm glad they were still there and I and I got them. So. When I got to the con Friday, I, I've been in contact with Spidey Fan. Shout out to Spidey Fan. Jay Punish was there too, I think. Yeah, I didn't see him Friday, but I saw him Sunday. And uh, Spidey Fan got the deluxe pass. I did, so I, I didn't get into the convention like 4 o'clock. So Spidey Fan had a two hour head start on me. But he, he was giving me the heads up on the Arthur Adams line. He told me he was selling for free. I mean, signing for free, guys. So I knew he was going to be there, so I, I for sure took my walking dead book. I took a bunch of books for Arthur Adams. And like I said, he was, he was awesome. I mean, free signatures. I mean, um, there was people going up there with stacks of books. I mean, stacks of books. And uh, I made a point to buy a couple prints off of him um, for, for signing all these books. So let's get it started right here. I got Walking Dead 157, Arthur Adams signature right there. There's uh, 158, 159, 160. 161 and 162 got the Negan cover art Adams. He was also selling that print for all these covers for 10 bucks each. Um, I bought a bought a print from I grabbed it from my office. I can hope to show it off during this video, but we'll see how long this video lasts. Also got a uh, Years of Future Past. Got his signature right there. Uh, issue number four got his signature right there. Cool Wolverine Kitty Pride cover. Love this cover. He signed it right there. That's issue number five. Also got the, the Fantastic Four, issue 349. Got a signature right there on the Punisher chest. Issue 348, there's a signature right there. Got another copy of issue 348 right there. He also did the Original Sin uh, variant cover as a connecting cover. So I knew I had some of those. So I had to dig through my boxes the night before. Got the Hulk one. He signed it right there. Got two copies of the Hulk. There it is, another one right there. Captain America Black Panther cover signatures right there. Got two copies of that actually. Bam. 
And then I got the Spider-Man cover one time. I didn't know I had it until I was digging through my box. Man, the night before, Thursday night, I was going through my box until like 1 in the morning. I, I would prepare late, but I, I think I came out good considering how bad my preparation was for this one. Uh, but yeah, I got those signed from Art Adams. Uh, what else did I get him signed? Oh, I got another copy. Got another uh, Years of Future Past issue, too. Got the Storm cover signed. Another copy of Fantastic 349, Punisher. 348 signed by Wolverine. Got these. I found these classic X-Men covers in the dollar bins at the convention. So got this one, Art Adams right there. Love this cover. Uh, he signed it right there. And I love this Phoenix cover. He signed it right there. So like I said, man, big shout out to Art Adams. He signed for free. It was awesome. Uh, me, I have most of the artists up there signing three for free and five bucks after that, which is cool. I understand. That way they don't get bombarded with uh, these artists wanting to sign all these books. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, got got into Ad, Ad, uh, Adam Kubert line Sunday. I'll do my signatures first, and I'll go on to my hall for the con. Uh, here's Adam Kubert right here. He's doing three for free, five after that. Got Incredible Hulk 456, the Hulk Apocalypse cover. Got that signed. Uh, 457 Hulk Juggernaut cover. Got it signed right there. And a lot of people are getting this book signed. Wolverine number 88, Deadpool, Wolverine. First time they, I guess they battle each other, fight each other. Got the gold signature right there. Uh, Adam Kubert, uh, love that cover. Love those two Hulk covers. I got multiple copies of these Hulk covers, but um, I got these three books signed from Adam. Um, so Sunday came around, and everybody was there for um, Jim Lee, Capullo, Snyder. Um, I get there around 12:30. We had a, sh a shitload of rain, and the, the drive to get there was was a pain, pain in the ass drive for me to get to the convention. But I got there. I got there at 12:30, and uh, like I said, me and Spidey found been constant communication during the convention. We just we hadn't met up face to face until Sunday. So we we finally met up, <laughs> and um, we got in the Jim Lee line. We just happened to be there when they started opening the lineup. So we got in the line at twelve, I think twelve twelve fifteen, and we waited there for two hours. Um, while that was going on, uh, the Capullo Snyder line was already capped off, and they were having their sign. And the, there was one guy that was in front of us at the Jim Lee line. Thank God he was there, cause I, man, I, I took my um, I took my uh, Batman number ones for them to sign. Like I said, their line was capped off, so he was great. There was one, there was the last person in line for that Capullo Snyder line, and uh, I didn't have any cash on it, but the guy who was with us in the Jim Lee line, he offered to pay the five bucks, and if he had another, if this was, Capullo and Snyder was signing three free, five bucks for that. So the guy had um, books to sign, so um, uh, we gave him 10 bucks. One for him doing the, this gesture, kind gesture to get him, to get this book signed for me, and another five bucks to pay for the, to cover the extra signature so i gave him my book he comes back he had to, it happens to be he had a free signature so basically he got he just, we just he got five bucks uh to to take my book up there and i i was gonna pay the guy who gave him the five bucks but he said i didn't even worry about it so shout out to him i didn't catch his name but thank god he was there it worked out for me so i got my batman number one one in 25 variant ethan and skyver variant i already had Ethan's signature from 2014 so then i got snyder's and Capullo's on top of that. How sweet is that? I mean, like I said, I got lucky. I got lucky. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I believe in karma. Good things happen for a reason. So, uh, I got to reward somebody now. So, like I said, man, like I said, I was very fortunate. Got lucky. Um, I know people, I've seen other people's videos. Shout out to Keenan Comics. I ran into him at the convention. He did a video bitching about the deluxe pass for Jim Lee. I, I, I get it. I didn't buy it. I, I, um, a lot of people were, were, were bitching about that. So, um. On to the Jim Lee line. Uh, I was hanging out with Spidey fan. He he had his daughter and a couple other kids, and his friend was with us. So we, we, I was having a hard time deciding what Jim Lee book to sign since he was only going to do one signature. And uh, when it came down to it, uh, his daughter didn't have anything to sign, so they hooked me up. Shout out to Spidey fan's daughter. Thank you so much for helping me out on this uh, extra Jim Lee signature. So the book I got signed was... Uh, Justice League number one, eighth print. Got the Jim Lee signature right there. This is a tough book to find. Got that sign. And I had Spidey Fan's daughter. She hooked me up. She took care of it. Got the Justice League number one. I, I think this is a second print, if I remember right. Got him to sign it in gold. Gorgeous girl. Let me zoom in. Look at that. There's the other one. But, man, like I said, shout out to Spidey Fan. Uh, man, I'm glad we, we met up there, interacted, talked about comics. Uh, he was doing his thing. I saw his video last night. Wow, he 
he tore it up on the variance, man. He 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 did good. Um, so I got on the Jim Lee line. I went back. I went back to walk around hunt. And then there was an announcement on the PA speaker that Jim Lee signing autographs. Whoa, no shit. We were just in his line. They, I don't know why they're just not announcing it. So I walked back to the Jim Lee line. Jim Lee line. Lee line. And still wasn't cat. So hell, I go, man. I kept looking at him. Man, the line's going fast. So I said, you know what? Let me jump back in there. I get back in there. I mean, it went by really fast. Got my Batman number two. I think this is a one in twenty-five variant. I think, or either one in ten. It's one of those two. Got him to sign it right there. This is the one I wanted to combo up with Lee Snyder and Capullo, but it just didn't happen. But I can't agree greedy. I mean, I got three Jim Lee signatures without paying for paying a deluxe pass. The way I look at it, I saved one hundred and fifty bucks. If that's what it cost for fifty, I don't know, but it, no money came out of my pocket. So I feel very fortunate that uh, I got three Jim Lee signatures. Considering people were buying deluxe passes, um, I got lucky. It is what it is. I mean, I ain't gonna apologize for that. So, so man, I said I was very fortunate. Thank God I got those signatures. So awesome. Like I said, Jim Lee hadn't been here in our area in about over 10 years when he was doing the Hush storyline. So it's been a while, and I got signatures back then, too. I need to show those books off in a video at some point just to show some cool signatures that I used to get back in the Wizard World Convention. But other than that, man, uh, a lot of signatures. I missed out on Tom King. I missed out on Jay Lee. Uh, like I said, priority was Jim Lee that day and Adam Kubrick because Adam Kubrick was signing for free. And um, what else did I get? I think I hit up uh, – who else did I get? Was it Mike Zek? Mike Zek, yes. I got a bunch of his signatures. He was charging five bucks. I bought some prints from him too. Let's start it off right here. Web of Spider-Man. This is the, the Craven storyline from back in the day. Uh, made Web of Spider-Man number 31. Great Mike Zek signature right there. He's got a great signature. I mean, it's awesome. Detail. I mean, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 293. Great Craven cover. Got the Mike Zek signature right there. Shout out to Amazing Murphy. Big, I know he's a big Spider-Man fan. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 32 Part 4 right there. Boom. Love this cover. I've always loved this cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 294 Part 5 of the story. I got the My Exec signature right there. Guy had to sign my Secret Wars number 1. Bam. Uh, Secret Wars number 8. Near main copy. I have a Stan Lee sign and seal one. A CGC one, but I wasn't going to crack the case. For that, we got him to sign it right there. Mike Zek. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 285, Gang War Part 2, Great Punisher cover. Got the Mike Zek signature right there. And bam, I had to, I, this this comic book I'm about to unveil. I got these couple of signatures in my first con in January. I have, um, what was it, Steve Irwin and Marv, Marv, Marv Wolfman. District Tomb Raider number one. Uh, right there, got the Irwin signature, Wolfman. And then I got the Mike Zek signature. The, the trifecta, you want to call that. I'll zoom in on it real quick. I'll bring it in. Look at that. Look at that. So, I need to throw these in my large, but like, I bought a couple prints from Mike Zek. Um, I'll have to show those off in another video. I want to try to keep this video as short as possible. <laughs> but like, man, a lot of signatures. This is probably the con that I had the most signatures ever that I can recall, besides from back in the day when Wizard World. Wizard World used to come to uh, Arlington, Texas a lot. But this is... Been the most signatures I've ever got in the Dallas Fan Expo that I can recall. All right, let's go on to the hall. Um, I get there Friday. I go to this one. I always go to this one primary seller. I know Jay Pinnish knows who I'm talking about. As soon as he sees this yellow label on here, he already knows who I'm talking about. They just take, they just take cash only. Got Derek over 132. Second appearance of Bullseye. Bought a very fine condition, very fine minus. Get it pressed, might get very fine plus. Got it for seven bucks, half off. Uh, New Mutants number 25. First Cameo Legion. Got that for a dollar. Got on the Magic Bandwagon. Got the Limited Series. There's issue one, two, three, and four. Got those for a dollar each. Uh, Dead Rebel 194. Just dig the cover. Got that for a dollar. Uh, damn, everybody's been showing these in their videos lately. Uncanny Axman 317. First parents of Blink. Here, here, here's what's about to happen. That's one, there's two. There's three. Got that from that seller for a buck each. What else did I get from him? And New Mutants 88. 89, I, saw, I apologize. Got that for a buck. Flashpoint number two. Got that for a buck. Saw this in a Mercenary video. I've already got two copies of this now. Robin, uh, issue 176, the final issue. Got that for a buck. Uh, X-Force number seven. Cool cover. Got that for a buck. X-Force number 12. Got that for a buck. Force number 15, Deadpool Parents. Got that for a buck. And I don't know. I forgot, I, I forgot to get this book signed, but 
I have it. I just got. I bought it to get it signed. Just for to get him to sign it. Arthur Adams, X Men Battle of Adam issue three. Arthur Adams character. I just forgot to get it signed. I just ran out of time. I ran out of time basically. But I got all those for for a buck. Besides that Daredevil tool, which I think it's been like thirty bucks, 24, 30, 25, 30 bucks from that one vendor. As soon as I got there Friday. Uh, what else, guys? Uh, let's see here. Went to this other vendor. I almost done with my X twenty three twenty for two thousand series run. Uh, found X23 number six for what six bucks and issue 14 cool cover with thing Got that for uh, six bucks also from the same vendor. They had he put a bunch of bronze age books for two bucks each Major spider-man 196 two dollars. Yeah, sticker price 1099 two bucks Major spider-man 245 two dollars. I got several copies of that now Major spider-man 278 two dollars 275 Got that for two bucks. Near mint condition, guys. Two seventy six. Two bucks. Daredevil one eighty nine. I believe that's the Death of Sticks. Got that for two bucks. Amazing Spider Man two thirty four. Two bucks. This is, this is my favorite one right here. Amazing Spider Man two thirty. Juggernaut appearance. Two dollars. Two dollars for this book. I mean, if you're getting Amazing Spider Man books, the low two hundred for two bucks, you're getting yourself a good deal. In my opinion. My opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, Incredible Hulk 272. I believe it's the second appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Got that for two bucks. I should have got Zek to sign this cover. Captain America 276. Got that for two dollars. Also, I found another uh, New Mutants number 25 from the same vendor. Got it for two bucks. I've been coming up on those books lately, especially on New Mutants. I've been hunting for those lately. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, on to another vendor. Uh, let's see here. This was on Sunday. I uh, got New Mutants number 19. Got that for four. I paid a little more than I wanted to, but I, I, I got it. So, well. Uh, got this for four bucks. Near mint condition. They're already in Mylar. Uh, like I said, I've been picking up Wonder Woman lately. Wonder Woman number 82. Got that for four bucks. Uh, finally found my, some of my Black Flash issues. Issue 139. Got that for four. Uh, near mint condition. Got New Mutants number three. Got that for two bucks. Uh, the Flash 108 first appearance of Savitar. Is that his name? Got that for five. That's also part of the storyline. Got issue 109. Got that for five. Got issue 110 for five bucks. And then the issue 111 for two bucks. That was from that one vendor. This is on Sunday. Um, uh, what else? Another vendor. Got another copy of Flash 108. First appearance of Savitar. Got that for this one vendor had 25% off. So I got that for four. 25%. So this these next four books, I got them 25% off. So sticker price is four bucks plus 25% off. Got that one. Got me another Batgirl number 11 art germ cover. That's sticker price three. Finally got this one. Uh Batman. Uh one woman 166, part three of four of the gods of Gotham's Adam Hughes cover. One woman issue right there. Finally got it. She had a sticker price for five. And I finally got this one. Been looking for this one. Got Conan the Barbarian issue 241. Todd McFarlane cover. Got it for three. So I, I got 25% off this. So I think I spent like 11 bucks for these four books, which is great. I've been looking for this Conan McFarlane cover. There's also a Conan Jim Lee cover and a Conan Weiss Portacio cover. So I'm on the hunt for those. Uh, but yeah, got those. Um, really stoked about the Flash First Prince of Sabotage issues. I found two. And I, I have been striking out a lot lately. And I found two at the convention. So I'm glad I found those. Um, there was two Stanley, if I recall, there was two Stanley collectibles booths, and one was very small, but they were selling Stanley signature books for 100 bucks. But they also had some dollar boxes underneath the table. Uh, here's what I found: Spawn 162. Shout out to Tito, Kingdom Comics. I found that for a buck. Uh, Wonder Woman number seven. Got that for a buck. I got several copies of that. Amazing Spider-Man number 13. Venom appearance. Got that for a buck. I know that's worth more than a dollar. I mean. I found it. So, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 25. Got that for a buck. I got two or three copies of that. Another Uncanny X-Men 317. Got that for a buck. I Man, I think I have like 10 copies of that now. From when I had from back in the days when I bought them originally. And what I've been coming across now. Um, uh, X-Men Children of the Atom. Issue 6. Cool cover. Issue 5. I love these covers. Issue 4. Issue three, got those for a buck each. What else did I get? Um, Gen 13, number one, J. Scott Campbell cover. Got that for a buck. And, oh, sorry. 
Down goes my display, but I'll pick it up. Uh, Batman Bane, one shot edition. Got that for a buck. He had an ass load of copies. I should have bought some more, but I got that for a buck. Finally, 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 finally found this. Uh, Batman Annual number 25, second print. Got that for a buck from that Stanley Collectibles uh, booth. Um, overall, guys, uh, it was a great convention, in my opinion. Like I said, I didn't go Saturday. Thank God. I heard the, the stories about that. Um, I mean... I think they oversold, oversold tickets for the convention. I don't know, man. But um, I had a great experience. I, like I said, I'm glad I met um, a, J, uh, a Spidey fan. I'm glad our, uh, Jay Punish met up there with us. Like I said, Kingdom Comics was up there, Tito. There was a couple of YouTubers that I, 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 didn't, I didn't meet. I know Bat, Bats fans was out there. I, didn't, I haven't interacted with him before. I've, I've watched his videos, but I didn't know he was going to be there. I think Aim, Aim High Comics was there. I saw his video the other day. Uh, but like, like I said, it was a big convention. I'm glad I went just Friday and Sunday. I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to. Thank God. I mean, it worked out for me. Uh, I didn't get some. I didn't get any huge mega key books, but I think I got some quality books for the for, for the money I spent. And, and like I said, so what? If, if these are duplicates I already have, I'm not gonna let books sit there for a dollar or two dollars and let somebody else pick up on them when I have the opportunity to get them. I mean, if I have extras, I have extras. So well, it is what it is. They'll they'll stay in my collection. I mean, um. I don't know, man. I had a great time. I mean, I found a lot of books. It was cool. Like I said, I met up with people. Um, I think I might be going to the, the was it Alamo Con in September. Uh, I mean, September, May. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I, like I said, that'll be, I've already done three conventions this year. So uh, I think the next one in our area is going to be in October. I think I saw the email. It's going to be at the Urban Convention Center. It'll be Fan Expo Convention. Smaller one. Smaller, smaller convention. But... I think that that for sure I'll be going to. Um, we'll see. But like I said, man, uh, um, I had a great time. I got a lot of books. Didn't spend as much as I wanted to. I avoided the Stanley CGC stuff this year. Thank God. Um, we'll see, man. But like I said, shout out to Spotty Fan. I'm glad we met up, brother. Shout out to Jay Punish. Glad I ran to you. I hope I hope you got a video coming out. I want to see what you picked up. Uh, Tito, I hope uh, I hope you just didn't go there for slabs and signatures. I hope you picked up some books. I hope you got a video you're about to pump out. Uh, but uh, anyways, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, leave me comments. I'll respond back. And uh, uh, keep it real, guys. Hopefully, I got, I got another haul video brewing already. I just need to find time to make it. Uh, my goal is to do a haul video once a month. So this is, is technically for March. So I got April to look forward to. So I, I think I've done a haul video thus far this year, January, February, March. So I got the next one ready for April. I got to buy a few more books, but it's already started going well. Uh, been hitting up the half price books, finding some good stuff. So until then, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, later.